enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fit. <laughs> Flying Pelican Sam Airlines, where your bill is never as big as mine. Hey Luther, what word do the letters U R C H I N spell? A pop quiz? Can't think. Wait. You're so silly. They spell urchin, as in, we found a purple sea urchin. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. I knew you could pull it up. Get it? Pull? Up? Oh, Luther. I'd better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horse Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used to be. <laughs> but if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blanny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. Okay, old Soggy, what do we do when we find the bad guy? <laughs> That's my plan, too. Hello, sir.
Excuse me, sir, but are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. When Pierre men sing, they are better than new. So if something was torn into a million, billion, teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Be sure. With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Can you guess what it is? Uh... Hmm. It's a purple sea urchin! Good work, Luther! You just made that up, didn't you? Uh-huh. Look, Freddy, there's something behind that waterfall. Wait! the wind out of me. Me too. We're just gonna have to find another way to get to that waterfall. Freddy, this log looks kind of like a tunnel. <laughs> and it seems to be stuck in the mud. I am. Down the hall on your right, the powder room is. Hmm, that phrase book isn't 100% accurate, is it? Oh, my God. 
Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. Hey, get out of the bullies club. flashlight and maybe you didn't notice but this is the bullies club and I just happen to be the president <laughs> it's a drain plug <laughs> Step right up, gills and buoys, for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tube ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better! Uh, no! Oh! Wow, it's a Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine! I've heard about these!
are you two going to the Founders Day Festival? We sure hope things will work out that way. Well, you should, you know. It's going to be ever so much fun. Really it is. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. This way to last year's ride, the legendary Terrific Tumble Tubes. Look, Freddy, it's a purple sea urchin. Got it. Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Don't go swimming too close to my door down in the deep blue sea. I'm a finny fish whose bite is worse than his bark will ever be. Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. With an attitude I got plenty of style To make you feel so cool Come take a swim in the blue I'll make you feel so cool Oh, oh. Here's 
a purple sea urchin. That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. In appreciation of your prodigious prowess, the world famous Floating Pun is proud to present you with this a fantabulous one house mirror replica. <laughs> There's no time for that now, Luther. A pickerel in a delicatessen store? Yeah, a dill pickerel. Boy, Luther, you're lucky you're friends with Freddy.
President of the Bullies Club, I command you to leave. Freddy, I know we need his flashlight to get Uncle Blenny out of jail, but this guy is too mean to mess with. Hey, Luther, I have a plan. Light as long as you want. Hiya! something that could help us get it. Hey, Luther, help me dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Okie dokie. Push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Ugh. Can't stop pushing. 
must keep moving forward. We can't slack off, Luther. Not if we want to push the log into the waterfall. I just had a brainstorm. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. Luther, I think we need to find something else for that blue-tailed joey bird to cuddle with if we want to get that golden pipe. Look at the feather from a blue-tailed joey bird. Beautiful, Freddy! <laughs> Good job, Luther! <laughs> Hi, folks, and welcome to the world-famous Luau Show! where we bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed! <laughs> Only I, Pierre, had the perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. What's wrong with the egg that's on it? The egg? It is too roly-poly. But I suppose it will have to do. Unless, of course, I could get the perfect accessory, a blue-tailed Joey Bird feather. That would look beautiful, Pierre. found a beautiful blue-tailed joey bird feather. And we thought you might like it to decorate your hat. Oh, yes. The feather is a perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. You can't keep that roly-poly egg. Voila! It's a magnifique.
make that blue-tailed joey bird happier than that golden white panther one. He can pick up the bad guy then. Here you go, boy. Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. <laughs> hey, hey. I'll find a way to get the gem and have you out of there in no time, Luther. Good, because there are some pretty fishy things down here. Besides me, that is. another trap, but I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, this red crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. Sure gives off a lot of light. That could come in very handy indeed. Hey, the crystal grew back. Hmm. This 
it'll look like it will fit here. means no festival, and I just polished my tooth. Oh, the colossal irony of it all. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind. Please kill me! Please kill me! Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent! <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found bread and a sewing needle, which means the the clue we found in the bag proves that the thief is Pierre. You're the thief. Ridiculous! That could have been anybody's thread on sewing needle in that bag. You have nothing on me. Oh la la! Oh no? <laughs> All right, uh, maybe you do have something on me. I confess, the great conch is the ultimate expression of exquisitely good taste. It would have made the ultimate accessory for my latest and greatest fashion creation. The great conch isn't just an ornament. It's an important part of life under the sea. Also, being great at something you do doesn't give you the right to do bad things. And no matter how you look at it, stealing is bad. I feel smaller than the krill. I am a sorry, needlefish. I return to you, the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> Oh, and old Chuck. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, old grand exalted keeper of the conch. Pierre was convicted of breaking Penal Code 919 for only thinking of himself. As punishment, Pierre was sentenced to 4,284 hours of public service, sewing hand puppets for underprivileged humpback whales. Case closed. Ha <laughs> ha! 